Hey guys, my name's Phoenix Knight, and I'm here with my friend Architect Blazon, and we are playing Agrarian Skies. Um, this is day three of my first time playing Agrarian Skies, and I am beginning um, to I'm, I'm beginning the journey of getting silk. Um, so right now, what I'm building is a uh, a half slab platform, and I can't I can't go out past the edge. Like, I can't shift-click to uh, stay on the edge, because um, the shift-click doesn't work with half-slabs. So basically, I just have to be really careful that I don't fall off. And that's actually kind of scary. But it's working so far. Well, it works with half-slabs if they're Ooh, on, on top. If they're, if they're, like, on Ooh, top. Nope. There we go. Can I just break that off? It's the ones that are the bottom half. That no, no, oh goodness! Ah. <laughs> hey, I see you. <laughs> go up, go up, go no. I'm sorry. Oh, that. Oh, what the heck? Um, I lost everything. Like literally everything. I lost my pickaxe. I lost all of my wood and saplings and dirt, and oh, that's really disappointing. Do you not have any? Do you Jeez. have any oak saplings, or did you not nope, reserve? Nope. I them? had all of them in my inventory. I really didn't expect to actually fall off. Yeah. That's, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well. Um. Just, so. Got to keep going. For all of my <laughs> viewers, let's see if there's a way to fix this. Um. Well, I've got a book and I've got a potion. And I can get back to my home, but I can't necessarily do anything, I don't think. Is this my house? It should really This is my down. house, and there's a bunch of mobs. No, no, it isn't my house, actually. I thought it was. There's a creeper and an enderman and a skeleton. Uh, um, did it, uh... I don't see my timer on this potion. Here, since you're since you had an issue, because I don't I know you can't get the pick any pickaxe. I don't think I can do anything at this point. Oh no, skeletons attacking me! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Die! He's not dying. I'm dying faster than him. Well, Actually, fly no, away! Not. Nope, he's dying. He's dead. Woo! Oh come on! No, don't fall away. Thank you. <laughs> The the bone almost fell off into the, the void. Alrighty, so what all did you lose? Um well I did lost you... two stacks of Why did bone you take meal. all the bone meal? Um, because I'm dumb. I have a piece of dirt though. That is enough to get me going again. <laughs> well, you're gonna be real really slow without a little bone meal, so I'm gonna give you a hand. Okay. And yes, feel free to include this so they realize that you'd be screwed. Yeah. Like, if I, an average Joe would be screwed. If I were not on the server, I would have to either... Redownload the map. Well, couldn't I just go to a new... No, yeah, I'd have to redownload. I'd have to start all over. Because the quest book would be permanently ahead. And no matter where I go, I wouldn't be able to get that pickaxe back. And I don't... Did I... Do you get the saplings from the quest book? Uh, right. no. No? Oh. So I, I no. could probably have flown to a different island and picked up some saplings or something. Um, okay. But, yeah, I'm going to give you half a stack of bone meal. Don't waste it. All right. And note, none of this is, even though I'm flying around in creative mode, because I actually th got actually threw my, put my flying potion away. Mm -hmm. Um, Even though I'm flying around in creative mode, none of what I just, uh, what I just gave uh, Knight, in case this winds up in the recording... Uh, none of what I just mm -hmm. gave Knight is a spawned in stuff. That is all oh, okay. from my production facilities. Or in the case of the pickaxe, because it has the same name, it's actually the one that you one, got earlier. The one that I got earlier. Because I don't actually really need it. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so I, I was fortunate that. enough to spend well, I spent eight bone meal, but I got a ginormous tree <laughs> so it was it was worth it
Now let's see if this giant tree is going to pay off. I'm not going to be able to cut this whole thing down. I can't reach that high. Unless I jump. I can jump up into the tree. Oh, I can't see anything though. Well, so much for my cherry saplings. Um, I guess that means that I'm just gonna go with solid blocks and uh, hold shift <laughs> and try yeah. to fight the mobs off. <clears throat> that seems like the only uh, option right now. Aww. I, t I fell out of my tree, so now I have to rebuild be it. Caref be careful of everything, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so now my only trees are going to be oak trees because I don't have any other saplings. For now, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then again, I don't think the other ones are needed for anything. Hopefully not, because I don't have them. Yeah, so I know this is kind of late, episode three and all, but um, any if you're gonna start your own Agrarian Skies map and you're gonna be on single player, um, make sure you make it a creative, um, a creative world. Um, you know, for the for your best experience, you're gonna want to play on um, a normal survival type, but you want to make it a creative world so that if you do have any like game destroying problems like falling and losing all of your stuff <laughs> um, then at least you'll be able to go into creative mode and get some of your stuff back well a lot of people would argue that's cheating but um yeah well it maybe it's better than restarting I mean I'm not that far so yeah. if I was on single player it'd probably be pretty easy to just restart but um for now you get you get far enough you get far enough in that it's that it's irritating to restart and you'll have enough resources that you don't need to. Yeah. Okay. Well, I am slowly rebuilding my supply. I've got two saplings now. Got a decent amount of wood. Where's my other pickaxe? 22 wood, actually. That was nice. Oops. <clears throat> so the sieve is going to be... The sieve is basically an integral part... Ooh, did I get... I got another... The sieve well, I got a the, silkworm. Is for for but, most of the time you're doing this is going to be the... The material of choice. The yeah. machine of choice. You'll have other machines that help it, that speed it up, that you know, automate it, but you will need it for a long time. Hmm. Okay. Now, what was so, that working? I kind of pulled a bear, uh, bear grills there, didn't I? Like, this is what happens if you are completely screwed over, and this is how you, sur or you this is how you, uh, recover from it. Yeah, you recover from it by having some by having someone donate their by, stuff to recover by having, you. By having server admin uh, help you out. Well, this wouldn't be me as an admin so much as it was just uh, a guiding angel. <laughs> okay, um, so I can plant another tr another sapling. I couldn't reach the rest of that tree, but oh well. Hey, I got a short one this time. <laughs> Ooh, holy crap. I'm getting a ton of, I already got four saplings, nope, five saplings and an apple from this tree. Seven, eight saplings? Or nine, actually. Dang. Well, that was, that was very good. I spent three bone meal and I got nine saplings. Now you still have to worry about running out of that bone meal before you get a mob spawner in place. Because for a while, with me at least, mm -hmm. bone meal was the only thing that kept that kept me from starving to death. Hmm. 
Um, I just turned the bone that I got from the skeleton into some bone meal. So I got that too. Okay, let's put... Seven, eight. Got two saplings left, making another piece of dirt. And I'm going to continue building that platform, but I'm going to change to um, only solid blocks. So, darn. It, it's probably going to be boring uh, to watch. Yeah. Might want to do um, a transition here. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to agree with that. So, um, I'll be back as soon as I get this uh, platform built. Um, and, so yeah, see you then. Alright guys, so, um, I just kind of finished this little platform, um, and I put the uh, silkworm in these leaves, and so now you can see they're turning a little bit lighter, um, and you can look up at the top where it that shows was the progress. That was an accident. Oh, really? Yeah. Back to recipe mode. <laughs> My bad. I didn't anyways. realize that was in cheat mode. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Um, anyways, so they're getting lighter, and you can see that the progress is quickly going up um, so soon we will be making string which will be kind of nice um, also we will be able to use that string to make a sifter a sieve basically yeah then it's it's called a sieve in the whole dictionary or any uh, yeah. and it's sieve but sieve is spelled s i e v e so, uh, I think that's kind of weird, but whatever, I guess that's the way it is. Yep. Anyways, um, I have no saplings left. But the good thing is, um, ooh, so the silkworms are spreading throughout the tree. Yes, but it, it does take cool. a little while. That's why I said suggested doing it separate from your main. Yeah. Woo! Got a good tree again. Oh, oh my god crook broke on the first swing I usually build like oh, I just built a ton of them all at once I'm gonna do that how does four sound actually five I've I, I I'm, I'm usually like eight or whatever hmm Wow I can see the the one is done, the next one's at 68%, and another one's at 42. So, um, can you tell me again, so the, the string is used to make the sifter, and then I put dirt through the sifter, and the sifter, or the dirt, when you sift it, gives you pebbles, and then the pebbles you collect into cobblestone yeah it takes four to make one piece of cobblestone oh that's nice it's better than I thought yeah but occasionally it drops only three oh what the uh, the um, sifter only drops three sometimes anyway uh, so yeah. yeah so I gotta keep composting these saplings into dirt and then uh, I'll be able to turn that dirt into cobblestone. Yeah. And don't forget to check your quest book. Um, for hints and stuff? Uh, well, also for quests, because a lot of what you're working on right now is going to be quest stuff. Yeah. <laughs> My latest death is right below me. <laughs> yeah. I want to go in and delete that. Those always get annoying, at least to yeah. me. Ooh, ah, my mouse. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Mm, nope, that's not how I do it. Is it this button? It is. How do I? Ooh, how do I? How do I delete my waypoints? Is it? Is it? Oh. Uh, you have to go into M and all Here that. I don't go. know if there's a shortcut or not. I got it. Okay. Well, wow, I got eight saplings from that tree. Nice. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of boring. But um, what we're doing is we're just trying to rebuild our supplies while we wait for that um, tree to get infested with silkworms. 
And so once we get the silkworms, then we'll be able to use the dirt that we're making from the composting to uh, get some cobblestone, and then our production will go even faster. I've noticed that I use R a lot. Like, I don't really speak in, uh, like, by myself. I, even even when I'm doing single-player stuff, I, I, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's appropriate that I talk as if the uh, audience is, like, sitting right next to me. Holy crap! <laughs> I look over and the tree is, like, half wide already. Oh, yeah, give it time, though. So, what, do I harvest the leaves out of it or something? Yep. Do I, like... Cut them out? Uh, the, um, crook. Hmm. Oh. oh great, the vacuum ho hopper's trying to suck all the clay away here. Huh. That's cool. So I just, I can cut down any of the leaves that are 100, and then they have, like, a, what, 50% chance of dropping string? Something like that. Hmm. Ooh, that one dropped two. These are some weird silkworms that like to eat oak leaves. <laughs> Anything. Did these just reappear? I think they did. Oh wow, I've already got three silkworms. That's nice. So I wonder how uh, much string it takes to make the sifter anyways. 18, I think. Holy cow. Oh, I've got 17 already. 18... 19... 20... Ooh, I'm close to the edge. But I think for that quest you've got to make a fishing rod, a bed... Bed'll be nice. Set your spawn point. No, My... My screen just glitched and I about had a heart attack. I thought the floor, like, disappeared underneath me or something. Like, ah, oh, no. Not again. <laughs> oh, there's my timer. So, this episode is coming to an end. And I think that's that's just right on time, because uh, we just got our first silk tree completed and harvested and... Um, so let's, uh, make this sifter thing, and then, uh, and then the episode will be over. So, oh, I was hitting the wrong button. Sieve. Oak sieve. Silk mesh. From nine string. Okay. Cool. And now I need... Couple sticks, some planks, and my silk meshes. Sieve! Nice. Um, can I do this in my house? Yeah, I can do this in my house, can't I? And then I'll put the dirt in there. And then what do I do now? Ooh. So you just right click it to push it through. And, oh wow, I got five stones from that. So that means I can make I can make a full cobblestone, and I have one stone left over. Yay! Now I've got a whole cobblestone. What do I do with that? Do what? <laughs> I've got a full cobblestone. Now what do I do? Well, for oh, one, that's a, quest that's a quest objective. Yeah. Okay. So, ooh... Carrot seeds, cotton seeds, or seeds? 
or sugar cane seeds. I think I'm going to go with carrot seeds. And I get a stone axe. Good thing I got the pan earlier. Why is all the... Co my, my cobblestone's all getting okay. dumped down here without going to the... Alright, awesome. So, I got the... Uh, I got a sieve going. I am starving for food. <laughs> um, but I've got a bunch of silkworms. I got some string. I got one cobblestone. I got a decent amount of saplings. And um, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Um... So, day three on Agrarian Skies. Um, I'm Phoenix Knight. I'm here with my friend Architect Blason. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.